another training session. My name is Ogechi Madukoma. Today we'll be looking at how to produce very foamy and very, very quality transparent liquid detergent or liquid soap if you want to call it that. But I've always told my students that have passed through my training that there's always a difference between a detergent and the soap. There's a difference between a detergent and the soap. You can Google that to find that. So, but because that is what you call it, let me call it liquid soap also. But the actual name is liquid detergent. So we're producing this one today with just three items, just three items. Just follow me as we go through the list of chemicals or items that I'll be using to produce this batch of liquid detergent. So I'm producing six liters. I've, I've measured my water. My water is six liters. This is my XLS. This is my tester pump. This is my salt. We're producing this with sodium chloride, cooking salt. This is my fragrance. This is my color. I'll be using lemon color. I'll also be using lemon fragrance. These are my these are my I'll be using this to put them. These are my beautiful containers. This will be our main make, mixing bowl. And this is my sterile. Don't worry, I'll tell you the actual quantities I used to produce them at the end of the video. So just watch this video to the end. I'll tell you the actual ingredients of, and quantity of everything. I'll put the quantity at the end of the video. So just follow me as I produce this beautiful, transparent liquid detergent using just three chemicals, which are my tether pond, my SLS sodium laurel sulfate, and my salt. These other ones are optional. If you want to add, if you don't want to add, you can leave. You can decide not to add fragrance, it's your choice. You can decide not to add color, but I'm adding this, they're optional. But the main thing I'm using, they are just three. I'll be using my excellence, I'll be using my tether pond, and I'll be using my cooking sauce. So I'll be giving you the quantity at the end of this. So just follow me. So first, what do we do? I've pre-measured my water already. This is my water. This is what I'll be using to produce this soup. I want to remove a little bit that I'll be using to mix my color and fragrance at the end from my pre-measured water, my six liters of water. And this is my excellence. I'll do this. You can do this one like one hour before you start your main production. So I'll just dissolve my excellence in, in the water, in the whole water. I'll just pour it in. I'll pour it in. And I'll just leave it for like an hour for it to dissolve properly. Then we'll go into our production proper. So I'll come back in one hour. When it's excellent, it must, must have properly dissolved. Then we'll go right into production. So join me as I come back. Thank you. Come back. So this is like after one hour. So our excellent solution has properly dissolved. So we are going to dive right into the production. It will take one less than 10 minutes. We are done with it. So what do I do? I'll just get my main mixing bowl. I'll get my tether pond. Remember I said you should watch, watch to the end. I'm going to give you the quantities of everything. I'm going to write it down at the end of the video. So just stay with me. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. And also hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies each time I post new content because I do that at least once every week and I give you value. Please, I'm begging, subscribe and hit the notification bell because you'll be getting value for this. And also, if you're with all these subscribers, thank you so much for staying. So what do I do? This is my tether pond and this is my salt. So I'll just start adding. I'll add like half, half the quantity of my salt and I'll stir. I will mix properly. I will mix and mix and mix properly. I just added half the quantity of my salt and I mix on the in it well dissolved. I have tezapon in this bowl. Tezapon and my salt. Cooking salt, sodium chloride. So I've mixed it is well dissolved. So I'll now start adding my XLS solution to my tether pond and my salt mixture. You can see it's already full. Only I'm not even done. So this liquid soap, as it used to call it, to be very, very full. So I'll just add, I'll add, let me pour all. So that is it. 
So once it is well dissolved, I will now start pouring in my Okay, so I'll just start pouring in. I'll pour in my remaining soap. It will be coming, it will be coming thick. I'll pour in my remainder salt and I'll stir properly. Just stir and stir and stir and stir until it becomes very, very thick. You can see it is very, very foamy. Once I'm done, I'm going to add my fragrance. I'm going to add just about 10 ml because this is for dish. This is what dishwashing liquid. And I don't like pouring my fragrance into my mixture directly because at times it tends to water it down. So I'll always like to mix it in a little bit of water. Remember I scooped that water out of, so it's, it's part of our six liters of water. Then I'll add my color to the remaining water. I'm using lemon color like I said. Just add, add to your taste. I just added a little bit. Add it in a bit of water. I'm using this is water-based color, not oil-based, because we are doing a water-based production. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like, share, and hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you each time I post new content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Please, 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 and please. Okay, so that is it. And I will stay. Hmm, this smells very, very nice. So I'll rinse with the remaining water. Remember, this water is still part of the six liters of water. I pre-measured my water. So here we have it. So we're just going to cover it and allow it to settle down. Then you come and see my beautiful, beautiful transparent and you can already see that it's already very foamy. You can see the foam. So you see my very beautiful liquid detergent. Can you see? Can you see? So stay with me. When it is probably settled, I'll come back to show you what it is like. And I'm also going to give you the quantity of each of the chemicals I use in this production. One more, I'm telling you, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do. You can see it's already very beautiful. And imagine the foam. Imagine if you use this one to wash your dishes. Wow, it will be yum, yum, yum. Look at the color. Very beautiful. So I'll just allow it to settle for about like 8 to 10 hours. And I'll come back to show you what the end product is. And I'll also be giving you the quantity of each of the chemicals that I use. You can see our uh, soap, so we we'll just allow it to settle down. So you can decide to add glycerin also. If you want to add glycerin, you can add like 50 ml of glycerin just to must try to produce an eco-friendly liquid detergent without any harmful or harsh chemical. So we use very eco-friendly. So just stay with me. When I come back, when it has probably settled, I will show you what the end product is. And I'll also give you the actual quantity of each of the chemicals, each of the ingredients that are used in this soap. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's so beautiful. You can see how foamy it is. You're yeah, welcome back. So this is like after 10 hours. So this is our soap. Wow. See how beautiful our soap is. Wow. Do you see how beautiful? how thick and how transparent it is and it's smelling so so nice so let me tell you the quantities of items that i used so i used 500 grams of tezapon that's half kg half kg of tezapon 125 grams of sodium laureate surface that is rice xls i used 125 grams that's 18 kg 18 kg 125 grams and i use 350 grams of salt i use 350 gra grams of salt i use half kg of tesapon 18 kg of xls and 350 grams of table salt 500 grams of tesapon 125 grams of xls and 350 grams 
of table salt. Then you can add 50 ml of glycerin and 10 ml of fragrance, and then you add your color to your taste. Just see how beautiful it is. Did you see? Thank you. Hope you've subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you will notify each time I post another valuable content. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.